I'm Phil Svitek, 360 Creative Coach, and today I want to talk about Squid Game. No, not the actual TV show itself, but specifically the creator, because I've seen a lot of discourse online about the idea that he came up with the show in 2008, and it took him about a decade to really get it made, and uh, how the lesson there is this idea of perseverance. You know, how you have to just continue hanging on and eventually, like, you will find success. And yes, that is part of the story. But it's not the full picture, right? Because it's not like during this 10-year period, he did nothing else. He, in fact, kept making other movies and so forth, highlighting his talent. And eventually, you know, that led to Squid Game being able to be made, right? I mean, that's it's an oversimplified version of it, but it's a far more fuller picture than what's being portrayed. And so I want to ingrain that into your mindset because too often times we hang our hats on these gatekeepers as the only thing. And for me, you know, uh, yes, there's projects that I want to make that require funding and, you know, people within this industry to really help me out. But it, in lieu of that happening, I'm going to find ways to create the stuff that I want. You know, I'm coming up on my second movie and, um, you know, self-funded primarily for that, and just finding ways to make it happen. And so one of the things I figured uh, that I'd do is just kind of like a demonstration of an obstacle course of how to just mentally kind of go about it and, make, you know, make it a fun game, right? Boom. Here's a gatekeeper, right? I go in for a pitch meeting, you know, there's a bunch of pitch meetings, and they tell me no. Okay, so boom. I go to the left of it, and boom, there's some space here. Oh, but watch out for the dog, but right. And then boom, you know, made that project, got that done, but you know, now I want to do another one, but there's this giant box in front of my way. Okay, well, there's a little space here, so I'll find, I'll utilize that, and boom, you know? Okay, there's a bunch of space here, doing some projects, but can't go this way. Um, there's a gatekeeper here. Oh, okay, I'll, I'll go right. Now here, we, when we get to here, here's a little bit tricky because there's a tiny little space, you know, there's not much room to wiggle, but it's like, you know what? Why not? I can go through that and then boom. And then all of a sudden now here is where we get to and we look back and the door has been opened and so forth, right? So it's just a silly little demonstration, but it goes to show that there's always options for you. And you have to see those options as opposed to getting so hung up on uh, the people that are telling you no, 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 right? So if the people that are telling you no, 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 okay, you know where they stand, but figure out wh where your options are because there are options and stop lamenting the stuff that you don't have and start figuring out the stuff that you can utilize to make the stuff that you wanna make.